In this video, um, I'm going to show you how to import a Google spreadsheet into your Google Contacts for email. So if you're a teacher or a coach, which I am both, uh, you're constantly having to gather information, all contact information, whether it's parents' emails or telephone numbers. So instead of having to type it so many times, I was able to figure out how to just do it all in Google. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a Google spreadsheet, then we're gonna download it to a CSV file, then we'll be able to uh, go back into Gmail and we have to create a label because there are no more groups anymore, they've changed that. And then we'll be able to import the contacts and again, contacts is another thing that Google has changed. So you have to get that um, underneath, right by your, like your Google Drive where you find all your apps. I'll show you how to do that. And then when you name it, you might want to consider naming it with the date because if you have to go back and change your spreadsheet, I think it just copies it over and recreates it and adds them together. It doesn't, it doesn't copy over the top. Now you'll just have double. So you guys might be able to figure it out, but I haven't yet. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to go to file. You're already in your drive, and you're going to go new. You're going to come on over, and you're going to go to spreadsheets. You can click on spreadsheets. So some of the things that we would need to gather is maybe um, first name, last name, email, phone number, might have parents name, um, and, th and those are just some of the things. So it's okay to put anything. Sometimes we have like birth date. So I'm just going to show you, I'm going to make up some names, Sue Silly, and then my email is going to be Sue silly at gmail.com. Oops. And phone number. And Joe, I'm just going to do one more. Um, Bob Swims. at gmail.com and then a parent's name uh, oops so parents name is not one of the uh, fields in Google in your Gmail. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to add a sheet and then I'll go back to sheet number one and I'm just going to highlight and take the things that I want for my email. So I'll put it here and then paste it and then I'm just going to name, um, I'll go down here and name the sheet, um, rename it emails, email information I guess. And then the first one, maybe I'll just name it, I don't know, all info. So you can spend all your, you can make one uh, spreadsheet and you have all your information that you need. Okay, so I'm going to say swim info. Oops, swim info. Okay, oops, I wanted to put it, there it goes, swim info. All right. So again, you can, some of the other things you can use, I think job is one of them, company, that will all correlate to your email. So now what you're going to do is you're going to come to file and you're going to go download. And then you're just going to come over here and you're going to go comma separated values, uh, CSV current sheet and click on that. And I'm going to actually cancel that because I just want to get my email part. So I'm going to go back to email. I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to go download and I'm going to come back here. And then we've got email, and I'm just going to um, save it to my desktop. So it's saved. Okay, so there we go. 
now what you have to do is you have to go um, back into apps and you go to your Google Drive and actually it switched over accounts so I have to get into my other account. Hopefully you just go right there and we won't have a problem. Okay, good. So now up here I've got like that, um, the nine, the Google Apps. So you click in there and you go to Contacts. You don't go to Gmail, you go to Contacts because they've changed it. And again, I'm just going to say got it. Again, what they've done, there's no more groups, so you have to do a label. So I'm going to create a label, and I'm just going to call it swim, and I'm going to put the date, because if you have to add it a few times, it gives you copies. I haven't figured out how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to save it, so now I've got my date right here. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to go import. And I, up here you can see that I've already have that in, in my label, and I'm going to go select file. And then I'm going to find my info, and then I'm going to do open, and I'm going to do import, and there they are. They all came in, so I can just like double click on it. Um, oh, did it come up? Let's see. But anyway, well, I'm going to get out of that. So I, I would double click here, because I think that was writing it. So here, oops, let me go slower. So it's got all the information in there. So to me, that was like an amazing thing. Um, that saved me a lot of time. So I hope it helps you too.